Hey YouTube, Frog Toad here. Well, I got an unbagging. Yeah, there's been a lot of the uh, unboxing, unbagging thing lately. Um, but this one is, is particularly exciting if it's what I think it is. So we'll pull out the old resilience here. And we'll take a peek. Oh yes, 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 yes. I know, boring, I'm off camera, I'm trying. I went ahead and picked up a Bofang. Now, as you can see in the background, and some of you who follow my channel know, um, while I have some experience in communications through Citizens Band and through Marine VHF, I don't have a lot of experience in the, the ham radio world, and I really want to. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is a high-frequency set here that I'm getting worked on as soon as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. To uh, to get into the shortwave or ham radio world. But, okay, it does require licensing, and I wanted somewhere to start without spending a whole lot of money. And uh, my friends, 92 Scalloped, uh, Minbound, and some of the others uh, recommended this radio. Very inexpensive. So we'll just take a peek inside here. God, I hope the flip is catching that. Bofang. Yeah, you catching that? All right. And there it is. Holy cow. Now, I don't know if you can tell how small that is, but let's see. Okay, here's something y'all probably familiar with. Ruger LCP, right? Tiny little pistol. Look how tiny that radio is. It's actually just about the same height as that Ruger. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about the Ruger, I'm sorry, I don't have... Well, actually, I do. Here we go. Here's another size comparison for some of you, maybe you knife guys. That is a uh, Victorinox Classic. There's the radio. That gives you an idea how tiny that radio is. And it's part of the reason I went with this radio. I did not want to go out and spend a lot of money, uh, well, for me, on something like the Yezu or some of the other radios. Now, they're, I mean, they're high quality, don't get me wrong. But what I really needed was kind of a radio with training wheels <laughs> that I could learn with that I wanted to keep afterwards and, and, and have a use and this one here, besides being, you know, diminutive, I guess, or just bleeding tiny, <laughs> um, it was inexpensive. I, I got this for 45 bucks through, through an eBay seller. And at $45, I think it'll be a good little training radio. And while I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm going to outgrow it, you know, hopefully in a reasonable amount of time as I learn... It is so, so tiny that I'm really hoping it'll make a great uh, bailout bag radio or something I can put in the car with a small uh, mobile antenna. God, that thing is tiny. It's going to take a bit of getting used to. So there's the radio itself. And in the package, I might not even know what some of this stuff is, so cut me some slack. Okay, I assume that's the little belt clip that goes on the back. A dock charger. Yes, I'm learning here on camera. You're watching me learn. And I'm assuming it somehow fits on that dock charger in some way, shape, or form. And then it's got... There's the wall wart. Which I'm assuming somehow plugs into the, into the charger. You know, when I get this thing up and running, that might be where it plugs in right there. When I get this thing up and running, I'll probably give y'all an update. And then, uh, this appears to be, you know, an earphone push-to-talk setup. So I'll have to learn about that. And then here's the battery. Which is, again, <laughs> pretty dang tiny. So it looks like I got everything I need to get started, with one exception. 
Uh, one thing it didn't come with that uh, is here in this little package that also came today. It's been a great day in the mail, by the way. That's one good thing about Mondays. If you have to have, if you have to look for something to like Monday, like about Mondays, at least it's the time when all the crap that got sent out over the past week comes in. And this is the data cable. So evidently I can plug this USB port into my computer and this into the radio for programming the radio channels and everything else. So I mean this is just an initial look. Uh, I am a complete ham newbie. So uh, if it doesn't bore you too much, I'll probably take you all along on the, on the learning journey. So I've got the radio, I'm going to mess with that. Now legally I can't transmit with this because I don't have the license yet. I'm working on that. Maybe in a month or so. I don't have as much time to study as I'd like to, so it'll probably take me a little longer. From what I understand, it's not a difficult thing to do, and from what I've been able to study, it doesn't really seem that difficult. It's just finding the time to do it. That's where I'm, I'm tripped up a little bit. But I'll take you all along for the ride if you want to come. Then we'll see if Toad can't get, uh, can't get talking on the ham bands. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Fair winds. We'll see you next time.